your child was attacked in class by a student, you probably would expect police to be called. But as 25 investigates found, that's not always happening at Boston Public Schools. With a new leader taking over, our team wanted to know if BPS will continue to protect students suspected of crimes on school property. Investigative reporter Ted Daniel explains this school safety concern. A BPS spokesperson tells me the district is following federal law when it blocks student information from law enforcement. But BPS admits it interprets the law differently than other communities, including neighboring school districts. 25 investigates found police investigations hindered due to a lack of cooperation, and in some cases, emergency services never even get called. There are pictures in this story some may consider graphic. I got a phone call stating that my grandson got stabbed. My son had been struck with a Chromebook. Two BPS families, one shared frustration. The ambulance is nowhere to be found. No cops were called. Last May, Jonathan was in class at Up Academy Charter School in Southie when another student stabbed him with what his family says was a pocket knife. It left him bleeding for hours. The police report says the school did not call EMS or BPD. Jonathan's grandma drove him to Boston Medical Center for stitches outside and deep inside his leg, according to hospital records. And it was so deep, it was like almost to his bone. If this happened on your street at your house, would you have called the police in an ambulance? Right away, right away. He got stabbed. For that or anything serious, you're supposed to, they're mandated reporters. They did not call the officer. We brought the officer with us. Weeks earlier, Tanya Ezekiel's seventh grade son was intentionally hit over the head with a Chromebook at Boston Latin Academy in Roxbury. Police never ID'd a suspect because of restrictions prohibiting BPS to share information with BPD. Zero communication on on anything. Like I said, there's been no safety plan um, put in place. There's been no follow up with us as to what their disciplinary action was with that student. Jonathan's mom says administrators at his school also withheld the name of the student with the knife. Out of frustration, she says she reported the school to DCF. DCF tells 25 investigates it has completed its investigation, but the results are confidential. If a student is stabbed in a classroom, should the school be calling police? I would certainly hope so. Kevin Hayden um, was appointed Suffolk County DA last January. He says law enforcement has been forced to subpoena BPS for information that other districts freely share. I believe uh, and know that the law actually allows for the sharing of information when uh, there's a belief that there's a safety at risk. We don't want over policing in our schools. We don't want that school uh, to prison pipeline. But at the same time, uh, I think we all uh, have to be interested in the proper balance. This is BPS headquarters in Roxbury. New superintendent Mary Skipper is expected to start in just a couple of weeks. We requested an on camera interview with her, but that request was denied. We later encountered Mary Skipper while shooting video for this story and made the request again. We'll check in with the director. We're still waiting for that interview to happen. A BPS spokesperson tells me student safety is of the utmost importance and privacy laws and school committee policy dictate how information is shared with law enforcement, not the superintendent. By email, I specifically ask, will BPS provide identifying information like the name of a student suspected of assaulting a classmate? The short answer? No, a spokesperson says that would require a school official to review the educational records. And unlike most other Massachusetts districts, BPS considers that information protected. 25 investigates also asked BPS to provide the benefits of withholding information from law enforcement. A spokesperson directed us back to state and federal privacy laws. I don't want nobody kid to be wrapped up in the system, but at the same breath, like that's my son. I don't care about none of that. These families tell me the hardline stance has created hard feelings and lingering concerns at the start of a new school year. I'm extremely nervous to send him back to that school. Um, he wants to try. Working in a school, I know that I shouldn't fail that way. A BPS spokesperson says student safety is of the utmost importance, and district leaders have been meeting weekly with BPD to prepare for this school year. I asked what it would take for the district to change its information sharing policy I'm told that would require a school committee vote. For 25 Investigates, I'm Ted Daniel.